So this is a custom video just for you about improving your draconic skills. It'll take you through everything you need to know about those different colours, red, green, blue, how do you use them, how do you max out the best you can get from your stones. This is part of my full length video on draconics and on the dragon, so do check out this video here if you want to go really deep on this subject. Don't forget about Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins, you can get 20% off on your spending on King of Avalon if you're in one of their selected regions. Let's check out the video now. But once you've got that level high enough, you'll then be able to open up one of three different sets of stones. Now, you won't uh, be able to get all three immediately, so keep leveling up your dragon. If you click on the one that you can't open, it should tell you why you can't open it, and uh, keep doing whatever changes are required, and you can have up to three sets. Why would you need three sets? The good answer to that is elementals. Elementals activate draconic skills. Now these draconic skills, there are a lot of them, and for the lower and mid spenders, you're unlikely to be able to unlock every single one of these dragon skills. What you have to do instead is have one set for fo focusing on different types of skills, and then you can have one set, for example, for fighting, one set to improve your economy skills, one set to improve your development skills. So you can see the different colors, red, green, and blue. There's your clue. How do these work? It's all about elemental power. So let's unequip a couple of these red stones. So I've now unequipped them and you can quickly see that those draconic skills here, they've dropped. I've lost one level of my dread breath of fire and I've also lost one level of my scaled sanctuary. How do elementals work? So if we, let's take off some more stones. So now I've removed a whole bunch of stones and you can see almost all of these skills have disappeared. To activate these skills, if you click on the skill you're interested in, and then if you look at the bottom here, you've got the requirements section. This tells you how many elemental points you need to activate this skill. So in this case, if I wanted the level one scale sanctuary, I'd need 15 red elemental points, five blue and zero green. Now, the obvious answer to which ones are which, the red stones will have a red elemental score, the green a green, and the blue blue. The level of that score, that depends on the level of the stone. You can see this is a level 4, and then we've got level 5, it goes all the way down. I don't have any level 1s left yet now. But level 2 red, for example, will give you 10 elemental points in red. The level 4 will give you 20 elemental points, so the higher the level, the more elemental points you can get. Enhancing these stones will not make any difference to the elemental level, so it is about those colors. The only exception here is the yellow stones, the omni stones. They can have all three types of these elemental scores, so you can have red, blue, and green on the same stone. So to activate these skills, you need to put enough stones to hit those requirements. So let's add another stone now. Let's add a blue stone. And you see the red dot that appeared there, that means I've activated some more skills. That's activated this combat skill, it's also opened up a bunch of these development skills. In fact, it's opened up all of them except the higher level Draconic Chest Drops, the Dragon's Favor. Now this one it is activated by going to your uh, skills at the bottom right, so click on that book. And then you have the Draconic skills here, this is one of those active skills. And this is the Draconic Chests here. So you can see to activate this skill, you just click use. But what's really interesting is the level that I'm getting. This is for level chest two. And if I add some more blue stones, I can add another 20 points to my elemental score there. And you can see that that is now activated the level three chests. So out of interest, you only need to activate these extra blue stones for the dragon's favor once a day to get one of those dragon chest drops. So you don't need that permanently on, you can switch your stones to that version, get the chest, and then switch back to whatever you, you were using before. So you can see how you can turn them on, turn them off, get exactly what you need when you need it. So you've got your three sets, I say I would have one for fighting, and for right fighting, I would generally recommend that you need to really focus on the breath of fire. It only lasts for 30 minutes, but when it's functional, especially when you've got a lot of troops and you're taking on more powerful players, that Breath of Fire is the best way that you can hurt other bigger players. 
Okay, so now I've activated all my red stones, and you can see I've maxed out the uh, the, the scale sanctuary, and I also maxed out the uh, draconic ore, and I've now got up to level four with my breath of fire. The higher, the better. You can see that damage stat just keeps going up and up. The more you can activate. So for me, check out these. You can see now I've got them all maxed out. So actually I could start taking out some of these other stones that aren't going to benefit, aren't required for these ones and have a play. Just find out how many skills you can open up. You can switch your stones out and find out actually I can keep all of those other resource ones all the time, but also have a higher fighting stat all the time as well. So you can do a lot to play with those figures and unlock those skills that you need. If you had any further questions do let me know in the comments down below and smash that like button as well. It does help me in my channel. Here's that video I was telling you about which tells you all about draconics, dragon skills, everything from A to Z on dragons. Thanks for watching today.